Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and it's time for another haul video, which means it's time to look at my stuff. That's right, I got some new things to show you guys today. Uh, by the way, I, I, a little bit of a different setup right now. Uh, not not the way I'm always gonna film things, uh, but since I'm still working in my studio, and I actually had this set up this way um, specifically for some things I was filming, I figured I'd just leave the camera and lights the way they are, and hey, we'll just film the haul video right here. So hopefully this will work out okay for you. I think some of the things I'm gonna show you today will actually work with this little kind of closer in setup and yeah, let's just get right to it. So um, recently I have been actively trying to finish off my Vintage Masters of the Universe collection. Um, it's something I've been putting off for a long time, but I've got like all the figures, but I've been missing all of the weapons and accessories. So I've been trying to piece together all of the accessories and uh, some of that I've been going online and kind of asking for some help for some folks, looking for anybody that might be selling some extra pieces. So some of the packages I'm gonna show you today are some of those um, pieces that I picked up to complete my collection. Um, and what's really cool about it is some of these awesome folks just like sent me a bunch of extra goodies in here like like I got a little envelope right here it says open me so here we go we're gonna open this envelope this little envelope says hello pixel Dan sorry for the delay on this package that's okay I understand life is crazy no rush it's cool he says anyway here is the Sarad gun to complete your original figure which is awesome that's what I that's what I look for and what I needed to buy um, so he says, glad I was able to help you in your collecting journey. Thank you for the great video content over the many years. Also, I added a few bonus vintage Masters of the Universe stuff just for you. Please feature this package on your next look at my stuff if you don't mind. Uh, your friend, Danny. So Danny, here I am featuring your package because you were way too cool and sent me some stuff that I actually didn't have. So that's really cool. So first of all, there's my vintage Sarad gun. I can't wait to put that back with Sarad. Uh, fun fact, my vintage Sarad figure, uh, well, one of the vintage Sarad figures that I have is my original figure from when I was a kid. I don't have very many from when I was a kid. I hung on to like five figures from the vintage line and Sarad was one of them. It was like Sarad, Flying Fist, He-Man, Mosquito, Scareglow, and I think there was one other one. What other one was it? But Sarad was one of them, um, so it's pretty awesome to get his gun back. So thank you very much. Um, but along with that, there's some other little goodies here. So I'm not sure how good these are going to show up, but I don't want to open them um, because these are still sealed uh, like vintage stickers. There's one for He-Man, Skeletor, Evelyn, Orko, and Tila. So hopefully you guys can kind of see those there. He-Man, Skeletor, Evelyn, Orko, and Tila. I know it's hard to see them through the packaging, but I kind of don't want to open them. I kind of want to leave them that way because they've been that way all this time. And the glow ring! Yes! I didn't have a loose vintage glow ring, so this is awesome! Thank you so much, Danny. I love it. Glow Ring, of course, came uh, in some versions of Triclops and Trapjaw. So pretty cool stuff, that little Glow Ring. And then the last little fun thing you put on there, check that out. Masters of the Universe loot bags. I can have a birthday party now. I actually had a Masters of the Universe birthday party when I was a kid. And I had all of the Masters of the Universe party favors here. I think I have some pictures. So I can throw those so you guys can see me as a kid with He-Man. So it's kind of fun getting a little sealed bag of loot bags. That is awesome. Thank you, Danny. I really, really appreciate it. All right, the next package comes from Brett. And Brett also uh, was a guy that I bought some vintage pieces from that I needed, but he also stuffed a bunch of extra things in this box here. So I'm just gonna pull some of the stuff out of the box and see what we got. Oh man, okay, so first of all, a Ninja Turtles baseball jersey. What? Look at this thing. 84 on the back. That's great. Look at that. I don't really wear baseball jerseys, but I think I would make an exception for a Ninja Turtles themed baseball jersey. I actually feel super comfy too. That's sweet. I love it. Oh, it looks like we got like, oh, it's a comic book. Comic book in in here. Uh, the Real Ghostbusters Spectacular 3D Special. Holy cow, that is amazing. Hopefully the light's not glaring off that too bad. Here, let me, let me pull that out there. Look at that. I don't actually have any real Ghostbusters comics. 
Let alone, let alone 3D ones. I guess I need to get some red and blue 3D glasses now so I can check this thing out. That is really wild. Look at that. That's bizarre. I love it, man. I love, I love these retro comics that are based on toys and cartoons. I mean, they're like my favorite thing. And I don't like, like buy a lot of them. I really don't read them like I should, but I, when I find them, I always buy them. So that's, that's awesome. Thank you. Okay, so there's a couple other little bags in this box. Uh, so first of all, this one, yes, this one is the the pieces that I needed. So let's see what I got. Let's see what things I got to complete some vintage figures. So I've got Blast Attack's little plunger. So now I can blow Blast Attack up like, a, like he should. I've got Squeeze's weird little bendy snake thing. I didn't have that for my squeeze. And then I got two pieces for Flying Fist He-Man. Again, I mentioned a minute ago, Flying Fist He-Man is one of the figures I've had ever since I was a kid. I kept him. Uh, my vintage shield was broken, so I got a replacement shield. And I likely lost this little red clip when I was a kid. This is the thing that plugs onto his back so he can store his weapon. It's actually a pretty rare piece. So this is a super, super help, big help to complete my figure. So. Awesome, Brett. Thanks for hooking me up with a deal on these pieces. But that's not all he sent me. Because he sent me some Ninja Turtles goodness too. And he told me that these were actually belated birthday presents. My birthday was back in March. And oh my god, these are wonderful. Cause So these are these are the... Uh, there were the turtles towards the end of the vintage line where they were like part dinosaur. Look at that. So we got the uh, Pteranodon. Ha ha! And the Triceramike. Uh, I believe that's their name. So look at these. Oh, they are so amazing. There's a little action feature. There's like a button on his back. So we push that. Is that what's triggering this? Oh, yeah. Log in place. Boom! And then same with Donnie. Is that what's going on here? Oh, yeah. There's a button on his back. There we go. There we go. Oh, what are we, what are we doing? Oh, no. Does he not work? How does this work? I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually had this one before. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I love the like, the sculpt of these guys, though. These are really, really wicked. Love them. These are great. Well, thank you, Brett. I really appreciate it. Awesome stuff. Very cool little things that you threw in there uh, with those Master's weapons. So I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys today is actually some stuff I picked up at a local swap meet. Actually, not local to me. Local to my friend uh, Brent all the way out in uh, Arizona. I actually just visited him recently um, and spent a weekend hanging out with him and we went to the flea market. So let me show you some of the fun stuff I found. The beautiful thing about the swap meet here is everything was dirt cheap. I spent $7 on this entire bag right here uh, because almost everything I bought was only 50 cents. Uh, I really wish I had like swap meets like here, but I, I don't, so this is awesome. All right, I'm just gonna dig through and I'm gonna pull out some of the things I got. McDonald's changeable. It's a little dirty, but I love McDonald's changeables. So it's kind of one of those things where I just always grab them every time I see them. I probably have this guy already, but for like a quarter, I couldn't pass him up. Continuing with the minifigures. Also, I've got a really weird food theme that you're gonna notice all the way through here. Look at this Lifesavers minifigure. I don't think I have ever seen this before. So he's totally a little Lifesavers guy. It says uh, wacky wild cherry on his hat. He's like a little bendy figure, but I love it. It'll go on my little minifigure shelf, probably back behind me here. And I got a little uh, minifigure of E.T. I love the old vintage uh, E.T. PVCs. So very cool. He's holding a little plant there, making it grow. I love it. Continuing with that food theme, uh, these were definitely some fast food premiums of some sort. Uh, these came from Sonic Drive-In, and they're definitely older because that's like an old Sonic logo that's on the back. That's not what their current logo looks like. Um, I'm not sure exactly when these came out. I was trying to see if I can read the date on the back here. 90, oh, 97. Okay, so 90s, late 90s. Uh, but those are really cool. I love them. And, and they're just, I love food character toys. I could probably put these on the shelf with my food fighters and my grocery gang and all these random food toys I keep getting. But I love them. Very cool. Let's just keep that weird food thing going. These are old Jack in the Box fast food premiums. We actually don't have Jack in the Box here locally. Um, also, I'm not a huge fan of Jack in the Box. So apologies to any of you who love Jack in the Box. Uh, but I love these toys. I was trying to see if there's a date on here. These definitely look older. 
Uh, but they're weird little bendy figures of a burger and fries. And again, I love them. Just food themed characters are so cool to me. These are great. All right, food stuff, let's keep going. This is a really weird Wendy's car that's a box of chicken nuggets. I don't know why I bought it, but I thought it was cool, so I bought it. That's, that's all there is to it. Hey, Garfield minifigure. I didn't have a little Garfield mini. I think this was an old Happy Meal toy. I'm pretty sure I remember these, but now I've got a Garfield that I can put up on my shelf. Pretty sweet. You guys remember the McDonald's toys where the Looney Tunes dressed up like the DC superheroes? This was the under three toy, and Brent told me that this is actually a little hard to come by, so uh, I, I definitely wanted to scoop it up. He's like just a little soft, squishy toy. He's in the little uh, Batmobile or Duckmobile, but uh, that's pretty sweet, right? Hey, it's the Sugar Smacks Bear, Sugar Bear. He's a little Christmas ornament, but he also works as a little figurine, so he'll probably go on my minifigure shelf. And yeah, I told you I bought a lot of food stuff. This thing's really dirty, I need to clean it, but uh, McDonald's. McDonald's food, guys, I love it. I think when he when he rolls the little uh, little thing, blah, 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 blah. it's pretty cool. <laughs> you guys, remember Tang? I didn't have any of the Tang PVC figures. So I love this guy. He's going to be fit in perfectly back here. Okay, so these dinos. Um, these dinos, I love these, first of all. And the sculpts look super familiar to me. So there's like a little purple one, a green one, and a red one. Uh, two stegos and a triceratops here. Um, I thought these were like the... Fruity Pebbles dinosaurs that came back in the day, but I've got some of those on my shelf back here and I, I double checked and like this is one of the Fruity Pebbles ones. They're way more cartoony, but I feel like I feel like these are still premiums of some sort uh, And I had to get them because I love the little sculpts and I got all three of them for 50 cents So I don't know am I right? Do you guys know what these are from? If you do tell me because um, I, I just have this feeling that these are from something I can't remember what though uh, But they're very cool very colorful little dino toys. I like them a lot Okay, we're getting down to the bottom of my bag. Uh, this is another fast food toy Do You guys remember those Flintstones the movie toys from McDonald's with these really creepy looking live-action uh, Characters, uh, but there's a reason I bought this one It's the Toys R Us or the Toys Asaurus, but come on. It's the Toys R Us and oh I had to put this up with my Toys R Us memorabilia. I thought it was awesome. And it's got the little car that goes inside there. But yeah, I thought that was sweet. Totally worth the 50 cents I paid for it, I think. Love it. This guy is from Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Uh, Playmates Toys actually produced this line. This is the bad guy from the line. I actually have a carded version of him. Uh, I don't know, actually, I mean, like, this is one of those things where I was like, I'm not going to pass this up for 50 cents. Uh, fun fact, Playmates actually reused a lot of Ninja Turtles weapons for this line. This guy came with Raphael Psy. Seriously. It's kind of fun. So maybe I'll put him on the, maybe I'll just stand him with the turtles <laughs> on the collection shelf. Why not? Speaking of turtles, I found these turtles minifigures that I hadn't seen before and I don't actually know what they're from. So maybe you guys can tell me what these are from. Um, they're very stylized, but they're solid and really nice minifigures. So look, we've got a Dog Pound, we've got uh, Rocksteady, and they're all based on the modern cartoon or the most recent cartoon, you can tell. There's Raphael, because here, here's a uh, Krang. And Shredder. So these have to have come with something, right? And I somehow I missed these along the way, but these are really good minifigures. Like these are awesome minifigures. So if you know what these are from, tell me. Because I was real happy to pick up this whole set. I mean, these were like two for, what was it? I, I think I paid, I think I got seven little figures for a buck, I think is what I did. So, um, uh, but yeah, what are these from? They're really cool. All right, so we're at the very bottom, but these are definitely my two favorite things that I found. Uh, this, you guys recognize this? This little Dalmatian is the little sidekick figure that came with the firefighter Donatello in the Vintage Ninja Turtles line. He was just in this pile of random stuff that was mostly Happy Meal toys. So got him for 50 cents, totally worth it. The sidekick little figures are always so hard to get a hold of from the vintage line. And I didn't have this and I do have the Donnie. So boom, super awesome find. I was really glad I got this one. And this last one, and I gotta give a huge shout out to my buddy Brent because he pulled this out and showed it to me and let me take it. This is a Battle Beast vehicle from the vintage Battle Beast line that was only 50 cents. Mm. 
This is just one of those things you don't see out in the wild too often, and that was a killer find. So all in all, had a great day at the swap meet, had a great time hanging out with Brent. Uh, definitely have to come do that again with you sometime, buddy. We had a blast doing that, and I got some really fun figures. So that's going to do it. For this installment of Look at My Stuff, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, the best thing you can do is hit that like button and subscribe. Subscribe, please subscribe. That'll definitely help us out and spread the word to all your friends who might be into this sort of thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.